Ryan the Science Kid. Today, I'm going bird watching. This book is called or Ornithology. Ornithology is the study of birds. That's why I have it out. It's handy to have when you're studying birds. And then sometimes you might need a field guide to your region because you might need, oh, what's, what's this bird? And then find it. Or what about this bird? Because it's, it also has a description of what the bird is. When you write your notes, you need to know what bird it is. That's why you have a field guide. You look up at specific characteristics, like maybe you see a bird with red wings, or maybe white wings with red tips, or maybe white beaks, or maybe short beaks, or maybe flat beaks, or maybe long beaks. And then you look in your field guide and you see if you can find those characteristics. If you find it, then you look up the name and you write it down. When you're watching for birds, you have to stay still and be a little quieter than usual. Also, if you use your ears to listen, you can probably figure out maybe another bird. Because you have two ears, one ear can detect a sound on this side, the other ear might detect a sound on this side. And if you only had one ear, you wouldn't know which side it was on. You'd only know that you heard the sound. But because we have two ears, one here, one here, you could say, oh, well, I hear something in the middle. So you look here, and you look here, and you look kind of in the middle. Then you say, oh, I hear something over here. And I hear something over here and then you can find the bird. I just found a bird, I'm gonna look for it. When you're going bird watching, sometimes you need to write down what bird you found. Maybe in a notebook, or maybe just not on a piece of paper. We've seen a chickadee, a woodpecker, a crow, and a hummingbird. Exploring the woods is fun. Sometimes you might want to look at flowers. Bird watching is fun. I think you might like it if you tried it. See you next time on a My the Science Kid video.